And Republican Senator John Kennedy of Louisiana. He also sits on the Judiciary Committee. Senator, it's always good to have you with us. Well, what's your reaction to this news this afternoon? What do you think of it? Pre-terminating the issue of whether Mr. Bragg should be called before Congress, I have uh, I've watched Mr. Bragg. Um, it's clear he is not exactly uh, Oliver Wendell Scalia. My guess is he is scared to come before Congress. I watched Mr. Bragg's press conference after he announced his indictment. Uh, he was not impressive. I have read his indictment. Um, legal scholars much more um, qualified than I have have criticized it as being an inferior document. Uh, I read it. It looked to me like, as a legal product, someone knocked over a urine sample. My guess is Mr. Bragg will not try this lawsuit himself. A good criminal defense attorney, based on what I've seen so far, will take his head off. So he doesn't want to be naked and alone, not literally, but figuratively, in front of a, a congressional committee having to answer tough questions. That's my yeah. assessment. You know, just on the legal grounds of whether or not Bragg, uh, whether or not Jordan and his committee can compel the Manhattan DA or someone who used to work for him, Mark Pomerantz, to come down and be subpoenaed about this case. You know, Bragg is saying that's interference. He's saying that is, you know, not that they don't have the jurisdiction to do that. It's interference of the case that he's has here in New York. Just basic legal grounds. Do you agree with what he's saying or not? I don't know. I, I need to read the pleadings. Congress has pretty wide jurisdiction. I am sympathetic to the separation of powers argument. Uh, but I guess the point I'm trying to make, in my opinion, some may disagree, Mr. Bragg's primary motiv motivation is he, he's worried that he can't handle himself in front of tough qu questioning, from, uh, questioning from other lawyers in the United States Congress. I mean, I've watched his performance. Uh, Mr. Soros did not pick him as the, his preferred DA candidate be, because uh, of uh, his legal acumen, and in my opinion, he was picked because of his activism. So, you know, when, when you talk about that part of his story, of Alvin Bragg's story, I think one of the things that strikes a lot of New Yorkers when you watch this is they, you know, just came up with a 50-page suit against Jim Jordan uh, while you watch crime rise um, double digits here in New York City, you know, in terms of what his mandate is as a DA in this city, and, you know, we see similar situations in cities across the country, should this be the priority, Senator? In my opinion, Mr. no, Mr. Bragg is a uh, politician first. Uh, he is not um, an impartial member of the criminal justice system. He has demonstrated that. He has ignored the rule of law in terms of prosecuting people who break the law mm -hmm. in New York. And except with respect to the allegations about Mr. Trump, I think Mr. Bragg believes that cops are a bigger problem than criminals. I think Manhattan is, and New York is one of the greatest cities in the world, and Mr. Bragg is helping to destroy it, in my opinion. Senator Kennedy, thank you very much. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.